how we do this. We've got the drill here. Now I recommend you get a drill that actually has a side handle as well, so you've got a good way to brace it, which makes it safer as well. We're gonna put the uh, 312 in, which is the uh, 12 inch auger, uh, just into the end of the uh, drill, and then tighten up as much as you can there. You don't want it slipping. It does actually have a hex shaped end on it as well, so it won't slip inside the, uh, the chuck, but you wanna make sure it's firmly tightened too. And here we go, we're just gonna go to the ground, but look, before I do that, let me show you what this ground's actually like. I've got a little hand trail here and I can dig into that ground. Now, if I put my full weight onto there, I can push into that soil, all right? That's how hard it is. If I dig into there, that's taken a lot of effort to actually dig in there, all right? So let's see the difference. This is with the power planter. There we go, nice deep hole, perfectly dug, and it's put the soil around the edge here. Now the soil that we've got in this particular part of the garden has quite a lot of clay content in it as well, so it's, it's actually quite tough conditions to, uh, to be using it in, but you can see the power planter just goes through it really well. Now the other thing you can do with it as well is actually go sideways with it. And you can actually use it to cultivate the ground. So if you've got a small garden bed, you can use your power planter like an expensive rotary hoe. <laughs>